Yo, the Warzone meta has changed. The STG44 has now taken over Warzone and is now the number one meta AR. Recoil isn't even a thing for the STG and is beaming people at all ranges. The STG's damage makes it so easy to rack up kills. Before you know it, you wipe the whole squad. Stick around to the end of the video so I can break down this insane STG loadout, but first let me show you how OP this thing is. Are you on the roof? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Yeah. Did he land up there? No, he didn't. What the fuck? What the fuck? Me, I gotta do it all, me. What's up, man? I don't talk to him. Oh, no, no, just find him. He dropped to the bottom of the back. Ed. Another dude on me. Bottom main, I mean bottom short, bottom short. They are definitely about to send you. Please don't die. Trying to get me a gun real quick off that buy, and I bought you back. Somebody, I guess, from somebody's ping sent me. Fucking teammates are ass. I just had five thousand. Well, I guess yeah. I'm about to say, don't I split it in half, but I got that. I got that gun. I ain't bought you. Loadout drop headed your way. All right, pull back up over there, twenty. Where did that land at? Cause that shit damn sure just bounced off or something. Oh, I took my kill. I took Contact. my kill again. He's coming across the street right here. No team just put to prison. I killed one of them from prison. Where are you at? Oh.
target's Gondor. Looks like someone else claimed your prize. Plenty of time left. Help yourself to another bounty. Hostile mosquito is online. Oh, he's sitting in the fucking corner in there. Objective is lost. Behind me. Dude, I'm getting cooked right now, bro. Oh my god. Watch the skies. Got that some bitch. Never out from under you. Plenty of time left. Help yourself to another. Uh I'm not sure what you are saying, my guy. But I do appreciate you for checking out the stream. Hopefully you can understand me at least. Somebody from a stronghold. Somebody, yeah, somebody stronghold is sniper. I want to kill these dudes on the fucking boat. Knock one. Knock two. There's a dude over there. I hate people that play like that, like bro. <laughs> like who the fuck is even sniping at me? He didn't move somewhere else and started sniping now. There you go. Over the all the whole team in there fucking ghosted up. Where they gonna smoke this shit? Where you going? It's a balloon right here. Where? I just bought one. On the oh. You can buy one of them shits? No. I was not aware. No, I wasn't aware is what I said. Oh, oh my. If you would have seen what just happened to me. I didn't know that dude was right there. That shit just got me killed. I think there's a whole team in there. Watch them people coming from tits. Get ready. You're redeploying. On the back, the back. No. 
Where did that other one at? There you go. He's hiding over here. Uh, yeah. No, I gotta get some more. Okay. That's the one knife right there. There's a dude right above you. Oh, never mind. I thought you was on the wall. Or like the ladder I meant. I take this ladder, bro. Alright. Uh, you got res money? Uh, no, I do not. People in a tunnel. appreciate you guys for sticking around to the end of the video now i know you guys seen how op this thing is now your boy is about to give you guys a class setup but first make sure you guys hit that sub button the like button and turn on notifications because i know most of you guys that watch my videos aren't subbed and if you want more of these insane loadouts definitely hit that sub button and turn the notice on for me now to start we're going to start off with the muzzle now on this build i like to use the quartermaster suppressor it's a new uh muzzle that just came out for season five and all you have to do is complete seven daily challenges but make sure you go into your muzzles and activate this for the quartermaster if you don't you will not have your challenges and wins count towards uh achieving that challenge I messed around and didn't activate it and it took me a lot longer to unlock the thing because I basically had to start from the beginning thinking I was unlocking it when I really wasn't. So make sure you guys go ahead and activate it before you start doing the challenges. Now, uh, for the quartermaster suppressor, I like this one a lot because it keeps you off of the radar and it also has gun kick control and recoil control, which are really important for ARs. This thing has me beaming across the map as you saw in this gameplay. This thing feels like the most amazing suppressor you could put on here now if you don't want to use this you, you could still use like the zim and compensate it but i would highly 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 recommend you use this quartermaster suppressor it's insane to use i pretty much am using it on all of my weapons not even just this scg this is the go-to muzzle for any gun in this game now so definitely attach that next we're going to move over to the barrel uh i'm going to try to pronounce this the Fergwer <laughs> 792 barrel is the one that I like to use. It gives you bullet velocity and range, idle sway, and recoil control. Now, you could use the Heinrich. Heinrich, I think that's how you pronounce it. That gives you bullet velocity and range, like a huge boost for it. But I like this one because it helps with the recoil too. And that's not that much of a notable difference with the bullet velocity and range compared to the other one. This one is by far the best one. And as you can see in that gameplay, this thing is beaming. It, it really does not matter which one of these two barrels you choose. But if you're going to listen to your boy here who got all the knowledge and the expertise, I'm going to go with the 792 barrel for this. 
Next, we're gonna go over to the optic. For this build, I've been using the Jack Glassless, Glassless optic. Um, this is probably my favorite uh, sight to use on any AR if I'm not gonna use like a long, long range scope. Um, so this one is definitely the one you wanna attach on here. If not, you could use like a NIDAR sight, but trust me, go with the Jack Glassless. Next, we're gonna move over to the magazine. Now in this build, you do not have to use the 50 mag. I've seen people use the 40 mag, but me, I want as many bullets as I can and I wanna have to reload the least as possible. I need all the bullets I can get. And uh, with this 50 mag, it definitely helps you out a lot with that. And it does have some negatives, like always with using a heavy mag on the ADS and movement speed. But I'm pretty sure this thing <laughs> makes up for it with the damage in TTK. So definitely put the 50 mag on. And last but not least, we're going to move over to the stock. I like to use the DR79 combo stock. This thing helps you a lot with gun kick and recoil control and also the firing aiming stability. All three super important things when you want to build an AR that has really low recoil and is going to help you hit those long range, far range shots. This thing is so good. I, I've tried the other ones and this one is by far my favorite one to use on here. Now, with that being said, that will complete this loadout. And like I said, please make sure you guys hit the sub button, the like button, and turn on notifications for you, boy, because I do have a lot more of these insane gameplays and setups coming for you in the future. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much. And uh, GG.